You're tuned into Visions, a business and community affairs program designed to encourage and promote entrepreneurship in Central Alabama. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Vision. Cedric Vaughner, thanks for watching and keeping up with us. We're very excited about our guest today, the mayor of the city of Tuskegee, Mayor Lawrence Tony Haygood. Mayor, thanks for coming to be with us on the program. Certainly, my pleasure. Of course, Thank you know, you. we've been knowing each other for a long time, and so I, I, we have the distinction of knowing you before you were mayor when you were a city councilman, and right. so we wanted to formally say congratulations. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it, and I, I enjoy working with you throughout the years in economic development and uh, learning what we can do here in the River Region. Very excited about, about uh, your uh, winning that race in and uh, the things that you've got uh, in store for uh, our River Region community. One of the first things you said you want to talk about is your economic development initiatives uh, that uh, you have in place. Yes, we have a number of uh, initiatives we're working on in Tuskegee primarily to uh, uh, develop our retail at Exit 38, uh, which would uh, be an 80-room hotel we're working on. Uh, a convenience store such as a Shell or Chevron with you know, numerous gas pumps out front, a crispy, crunchy chicken for fast food, then we'll have a 24-hour huddle house, one of the larger huddle houses available, as well as a Greyhound bus terminal. Okay, all right. And a kiosk, a tourism kiosk out of that site, so people can understand what is available in Tuskegee in terms of the tourist sites, national historic sites. Okay, all right, so when uh, we come down uh, the highway uh, and we get off on exit 38 we're going to make a right coming out of come from Montgomery. Yeah you make a right coming out of Montgomery okay. um, on uh, I-85 north. Okay all right all right so so what's your what's your timeline on on this a, a, uh, this economic development because you said you got a, a 80 room ho 80 room hotel in the works uh, did you say nine to twelve months? Yes about nine to twelve months originally we thought it would be uh, six to nine months but uh, as we got more information we realized project wasn't quite as far along as we had uh, had been presented initially. So we think about nine to 12 months, we should see everything up and moving there. Okay, all right. Well now, and, and really economic development <laughs> is really your specialty because I remember coming to, to be with, with you at Tuskegee University at the Book T. Washington Summit uh, every year and I, so I learned that you really specialize oh, yes. in, in this career field. Right, I've been working in that field for some time. Uh, we do entrepreneurship at the Tuskegee Macon County Community Development Corporation and we're connected to Tuskegee University. And like you said, Booker T. Washington Economic Development Summit, we work with entrepreneurs and budding entrepreneurs and talk about economic opportunities. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's, it's really a, a great, a great uh, conference and uh, it's really known for just bringing people together from across the country. That's right. Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, now, you also mentioned that uh, you've been out making some calls and making some visits. You went and saw the uh, Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Uh, Greg Canfield. Yes, we were very fortunate to have uh, Mr. Canfield in Tuskegee, Secretary Canfield, last week. Uh, he was there as we looked at potential industry. We can't, you know, announce those kind of things about what it is, but he's been working with us closely to try to get industry in Tuskegee and provide jobs. We have an airport there. We have a commerce park. We're right at I-85 exit. We have a 300-acre CSX select site, which is uh, one, only one of two in the whole southeast that says this is a perfect site for industry to locate. So he's looking at us and helping us uh, with some potential industry that will provide some jobs in the Tuskegee, Macon County area. So, so you're saying that when it comes to economic development, you gotta have some elements in place. And you're saying that one of the elements is the railroad. And then what the other one I think you say is the airport. The railroad, the airport, uh, 65,000 foot runway. We're expanding to 6,500 feet. You have the interstate exit right there and we have a commerce park with spaces available. Those are the key things. And then infrastructure, uh, working with uh, the state, they're providing grants, so we're putting in the infrastructure for the retail there and also for the potential industrial sites. So when you say, when you say infrastructure, uh, what does that mean? How, how does that? Infrastructure includes the sewer. Uh, you have to have certain size sewer for major industry. You have to have uh, certain uh, water pressure because of large buildings and facilities going on for manufacturing. And you have to have uh, upgraded uh, utilities, which we're putting in underground. Then the access road, all that's part of the infrastructure. So when you get off at the exit, if you have an industry that the traffic moves, moves in quickly and safely, and for the retail sites, the hotels, the convenience store, you can get off at the exit and get to those mm -hmm. uh, retail sites that we have there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not, it's <coughs> not a, a haphazard thing. There's really a, a strategy to economic development to really grow a particular area. Sure, it takes a lot of planning, 
coordination, and that's why we're working with uh, the Economic Development Authority of Macon County. We're working with the state. Uh, we're working with the uh, Macon County Commission, all working together to make this happen. The Tuskegee University is an integral part of what we're doing. They own land out there at that site. They own land right next to our airport. So as we look at potential industries, we're also working with the university where we've developed a, a good relationship with President Johnson and the, and the rest of the team at Tuskegee. Okay, all right, and we wanted to mention that, of course. Uh, Tuskegee University, uh, a key and, and vital part of, of the community as it has been uh, for years. And uh, I actually had a chance to uh, hear the uh, choir and the band. We saw each other oh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago over at uh, Pilgrim Rest. Oh, uh, that Missionary Baptist Church, they had a college day. That was powerful. Oh, wow. Oh, that was powerful. Wow. All the praise and the, the power and the energy from the young people there at college day. Uh, Pastor Ellis there, beautiful church. But it was interesting to see the place was packed and to see all the people unified from all the different colleges throughout the state yes. of Alabama and the energy that they had and excitement. And that's what we were using in Tuskegee. The young people and their energy, their enthusiasm, their excitement, their creativity, they're involved with us as we begin to rebuild our community. And we're very pleased with that. As a matter of fact, I met with the president of the SGA and her staff last night at a local uh, eating place that has just opened up there. Um, uh, Peddler's Post, okay. and we had a nice conversation about community projects that they want to be involved in to help support and how they want to help build some of our community businesses. That's entrepreneurship economic development because they're looking for opportunities that they can participate in and they're getting involved to rebuild the community. Yeah. So Pilgrim Rest was an outstanding day out it there. Was. Really enjoyed it over here in Montgomery with uh, the people at Pilgrim Rest and Pastor Ellis. Well, we're, we're glad to uh, glad to see you there. That's my second opportunity to be there. Uh, uh, Dr. Martha Petway is the oh, coordinator yes. of that project for, Does for a good uh, job. Pastor Ellis, and uh, it was just tremendous. So, so kudos to everyone who, who supported that. But your, uh, I think the, the band was there, Tuskegee Band. Tuskegee there. University Band was there. Tuskegee University Choir was there. The SGA was there. Some of the ambassadors and the lady, young lady who introduced the uh, main speaker was from Tuskegee University. Okay. So it was a mixture of people. And then they had Alabama State there. We had right. a lot of fun talking about the upcoming game That's in right. September. That's right. And the fact that we're going to take the, the stinger out of the Hornets All this year. Stand. All again. All the stay. All the stay. I think we got a lot of excitement <laughs> going there. Right. Then right. we had Troy and University, Alabama, Auburn University there. It was just a great atmosphere to see people in, the, in, in throughout the state talking about how we're working together with all those colleges, all the Greek fraternities and sororities represented. It shows you what we have in terms of ability yeah. if we work with our younger people and young adults. All of our major, major movements, particularly in the African American community, have been led by younger adults. Mm. College students were often involved in those movements. Mm. So we got to take advantage of that energy to rebuild our communities and chart our future direction. Yeah. And I think that the uh, keynote speaker for that uh, event was uh, from originally undergrad at Morehouse, I believe. Undergrad at Morehouse. And uh, was in Divinity School at Harvard, Har at Harvard, Harvard University. So yes, tremendous, sir. Tre tremendous service, so can't say enough about it. Of course, uh, you know, I have a younger brother graduated from Tuskegee University. Oh, yeah. So I got to put in my plug for, you know, Tuskegee. Engineering is now at NASA, right? Yes, he is. That's He's right. We got Cleveland. some good programs there. And we, we're very fortunate, and, and we give a shout out to all our HBCUs. We yes. want to encourage them to do well. And we want to work with them just like we work with Tuskegee University. They're gonna, we're going to work with them in research and make major applications in our community as we improve our community using their research and their students and even their graduates. Yes, yes, excellent. Well, we're very excited. Now, Now, speaking of, of Tuskegee, the, uh, Tuskegee, there is uh, the Tuskegee Institute National Historic Site. Yes. Tuskegee Institute National Historic Site with the Oaks uh, and the George Washington Carver Museum. We have the Tuskegee Multicultural Center there and History Center. Then at the exit, you have the Tuskegee Airman National Historic Site. And for those who haven't been, that's a major place you want to visit. It takes about an hour and a half. But I've led some tours, and you've had people from all of the United States come there. It's such a moving thing that uh, when you go, you want to take some napkins uh, and handkerchiefs uh, because it's a powerful presentation of the Tuskegee Airmen. It's not the one you see on TV. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. a special film with the actual airmen in that film, and they tell that story about what they went through and what a major part it played in civil rights era in opening up opportunities for African Americans and others in terms of civil rights as well. Because every, uh, speaking of civil rights, because every accomplishment that, that African Americans made uh, inspired another generation that's right, uh, to certainly. go forward with their initiative. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And again, that was young people. Most of those people in Tuskegee Airmen at that time were from 18 to 22 to 23. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, one of the things that you said, uh, speaking of the university that you're doing, is just working on cultivating a good relationship with the university. Yes, uh, we're excited because they're getting involved with the city and uh, in terms of our working together on particular projects to see where are areas that we can work to uh, strengthen both at the university and the city. Mm -hmm. And that helps us not to duplicate activities, but to also support each other in terms of the economics involved. There are certain contracts that they have and things that need to be done that we can supply, certain things that they can supply in terms of research. So it's a good working relationship uh, with President Johnson at the university and, as I said earlier, SGA and students. Yeah. Well, um, that relationship is uh, certainly very important and very key, and, and that ties into another point that you said that, you, that you're uh, concerned about, and that's the quality of life uh, for your citizens. Yeah, the key thing, uh, Cedric, is the quality of life is what we have to always keep in mind. So you can bring business and all kind of jobs, but you want to maintain a good environment that people work in and live in. You want them to be comfortable in, in their community. So we keep focused on building a better quality of life, building walking paths, improving the recreation there, giving the opportunities there that they can enjoy, like the Tuskegee National Forest, the parks that we have there. Um, and other things, learning opportunities to where they can participate. So we are really focusing on improving the quality of life of the citizens so they feel better about their community and they have the excitement. We have a campaign going right yes. now called uh, It's a Great Day in Tuskegee. Yes. yes. And it's amazing how this came about. One of our citizens brought it and uh, mentioned it and he yeah. outlined it. Uh, Mr. Noah Hawkins, who's a, in the Tourism Network. Right, right. And it's really caught on. And I, I saw some citizens the other day, I was telling my assistant, there's a bumper stick on one of the cars. It's a great day in Tuskegee. Yes. But it's because people see new energy uh, going on. And we've seen people cleaning up abandoned lots, cleaning up some of the abandoned houses. And you see us getting involved in our community to make it better. Yeah, excellent. Well, we're, we're, we're very excited. It is a great day in, in, in Tuskegee and, and a great mayor. And so I also happen to know your revenue commissioner, uh, Dr. Gandhi. Yeah, Iverson Gandhi. Yes, yeah, sir. He's yeah. doing a great and, job. And a uh, great Reverend. friend. Also, we met through through your conference. And so, so uh, you guys got some good folks. Uh, you got you want people to come to see you because you want you want to promote your tourism. Yeah, I definitely want people to come to see us. On uh, I think it's May 6th, the first Saturday of May, we'll have the George Washington Arts and Crafts Festival in downtown Tuskegee. We will have a lot of activities downtown, parade, car show, vendors, everything. So we invite people to come to Tuskegee and take a look around. And while you're there, go to the Amherst Museum and the other sites that we have. We look forward to other positive things from Tuskegee and Excellent. Macon County and the River Region. Excellent. Mayor, thanks for coming to be with us. Excited. I'm going to come and see you. And that's going to do it, it for us on this segment of Vision. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back.